2 Corinthians 2 and verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. In the NLT. So that Satan will not outsmart us, for we are familiar with his evil schemes. Infinite praise, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kudash. Peace and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect, all right? This lesson is going to be going into this right here, all right? And the main, as the days go on with this narrative of this whole situation, all right? And there's a lot of things going on, and arguably there's things that's more important geopolitically in terms of Russia, in terms of troops, in terms of what's really going on in the world heading towards World War Three. But yet, this all plays into it, all right? So this is also something important. And even if we don't want to really speak on certain things, the Lord is going to have us speak on it anyways, all right? So it's, it's prophecy, and we have to speak on it, all right? But the reason why is because we're exposing it and we're exposing how, hey, as we just read, so that Satan cannot outsmart us. All right. And that's uh, the so-called white man. The spiritual demon Satan moves. Uh, his spirit is on the so-called white man, Esau Edom, in order for him to do what he does, which is all according to the Heavenly Father's will, because he controls the spiritual demon Satan. All right, but as you can see here, it says Kanye West has a disturbing history of admiring Hitler. Sources tell CNN. Now, here, here it is. Apparently, he was supposed to name a 2018 album, Yay, was supposed to be called Hitler. All right. And, and the crazy thing is they can just come out with this. And this is from an anonymous source. Uh, they, 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 it's you know, unnamed people, you know what I'm saying? And they'll just come out with it. So. Whether it's true or not is really irrelevant because this is what they're pushing. And this is what a lot of people will believe. All right, sources. When they could all just label it under sources. The same thing they're going to do with the with the prophets. All right, because this dude ain't a prophet. He just happened to have a lot of money and be very influential. All right, one of the most influential, all right, you could say, Israelites, even though he ain't in, the, he ain't really in the truth. He knows aspects of the truth, but he ain't in the truth. All right. But as you can see, this is what they're pushing. You see, he was obsessed with Hitler. He was he was all about Hitler. You see, and and this is what they pull. All right, this is what they pull. Okay, this is what they pull out when they want to demonize the Lord's chosen people. All right, but this dude, we ain't we ain't for him. We ain't supporters of him. You know, I, I like his music, but that's just about as far as it goes. Okay. So you can see the narrative and what they're trying to push and how they would how they are. How they want to demonize us because he everybody's asking, are you are you a black Hebrew Israelite? Are you a part of this cult? Are you a part of that doctrine? Because they are, he obviously watches our videos, you know, but he's being used to further certain agendas. Let's read this. First Peter five and eight. Be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. In the NLT. All right, this is the, and this is uh, a lot of brothers are doing this now. And not only this translation, there's other um, pretty solid translations out there. All right, it says, stay alert. It's First Peter 5 and 8 in the NLT. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. You see? And this is another way to try to tie us in with that. You see? And now you're anti this, anti that, you know. And no, no conversation about what's being said. 
And the, and but the problem with a dude like him again is that he's not coming out of holy scriptures. You claim to be a oh, I'm a God fearing Christian, so on and so forth. That's what he claimed. Why ain't you bringing it out of the Bible? That's where this information comes from. Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. You see, there's no light in this guy. All right. And he has a, he has a, he might have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Okay. And at the end of the day, he's an agent of the left hand. All right. Now. They may be putting him to do certain things, but the thing is that they can't control every single word that comes out of his mouth. Okay, so they might say, hey, go say this. And then the Lord has stir him up to go even above and beyond what they what they had initially wanted him to say. Before you know it, he's spilling too much. And then Esau got egg on his face once again, because you set this up and it's just making you look bad. This is the best enchantment you got. You niggas are finished, man. Call all your how about me? I was shy. All right, but the, hey, the, this guy, he's not speaking according to the law and to the testimony. You think they're going to put us up? You think they're going to put us up on the on the mainstream media? Now, eventually, yeah, they will, but they're going to try to come at, with, at, at, at it with a narrative. They're going to try to take certain clips. But in terms of like them coming up to us on the highways and hedges, that's the that's the arena of your how about me? I was shy. All right. And you don't want that kind of smoke, all right, when it comes to this word, when it comes to the Lord's men, when the apostles of Great Millstone on down, and all the brothers and the babes and Yahweh Shai like myself that learned, okay, that learned about this truth, okay, that learned from the right channels, okay, because we got to learn and get the wisdom from the right channels, okay, the Lord speaks through his men, and, and that's how we receive it. So, th so there's uh, certain certain men that are set up to teach, and Kanye West is not one of them. All right, but this is this is beautiful because now it's bringing about the conversation, which remember the Most High, even if it is an enchantment of Esau, which I mean, all signs are showing that it clearly is. At the end of the day, who's controlling that? The Most High, and why is that happening the way that it is? Because the Most High wants to expose these devils. You know. You know, we, we use wisdom with how we speak about it. Of course. But we're going to speak the truth nonetheless, man. Okay. But this is another way for them to try to demonize us and tie us in. Okay. Let's see. There's a scripture here. If I put in lies, it's going to come up with a whole bunch of scriptures. But there's something in Psalms. Let's see. Might be Psalms 119. I'm trying to look for it. Let's see. Yep, here it is. Psalms 119 and 69. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. You see? Keepers of the precepts. That's what this is all about. So they're not gonna come with come come down with a news crew to where we at. And all we're going to do is break down the truth of the Bible and read scriptures that's undeniable. And if you do deny it, then, hey, the judgment is at the other side. OK, and you could defend your bullshit to the end. You know, they're going to defend it to the end. They're going to try to justify themselves. But the, it's the proud have forged a lie against me. The accuser of the brethren is, is, is rearing his ugly head once again. They forged a lie. But guess what? We're still going to keep these precepts, Lord's will. Uh, Revelation 12 and 10, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. That's Yahweh Shai, all right? And his father, Yahweh, ordained that he would come back in this time. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night, before our God day and night. You see, the accuser of our brethren, who's that? That's the devil. That's the deceiver that the Bible speaks of. That's Esau Edom. He's a he's a deceiver. This is his this is what he's mastered over the years, man, over centuries, over thousands of years. OK, and even with that, you're still losing. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, Lord, y'all watching my shy.
And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. See, that's how we're going to overcome this accuser and all the lies by the blood of the lamb. Yahawashai being covered by that blood, his sacrifice and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto the death. You see the word of their testimony, which is the spirit of prophecy. And we, how can we love our lives? This, this, is, this place is hell. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. You see, whoa. And that's why this time of evil is coming, because the wicked is in rulership, and the Lord is going to punish the wicked. Punish. Okay? Matter of fact, I'm going to go jump up to the ninth verse. Okay, it says, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which is talking about the so-called white man. All right. It's very straightforward. All right. It's, it's not, you know, it, it is, it is, uh, there's parables. This is a parable as well in a certain sense. But really, when you look at it, it's straightforward. He is the devil. You know, who else is known as the devil? Oh, you white devil. That's a saying in the world. Why? Because it's true, man. All right. And you ain't white, you're red. OK. Now, there's brothers that look like that, that have that look. All right. They may have blonde hair. They may have blue eyes. They may have they may have a uh, leper skin. All right. We come in various shades of brown, but you have even certain brothers that are Israelite foreigners that are scattered amongst the Edomites that are actually our people. And they have woken up a lot of them. And they have come into this faith as well. Call out Yahabashim al Shai. But it says here, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Yeah, see, and the point being, which deceiveth the whole earth, the whole world. And this is what they did. He was cast out into the earth. Never mind the filth that they push. Never mind everything that they do to destroy our people. Never mind the fact that the major slave traders were small hats. Ish people, you ish, you ish people. <laughs> Never mind that, you know. But that's all right, man, because, hey, we don't want the justification from this wicked world. We want to be justified with our heavenly father and his son. All right. And it's a, and his angels were cast out with him. You see, so that's this this devil, his kingdom, his his military force. All right. The great dragon, man. All right, this this uh this modern Roman Empire is gonna be destroyed once again. All right, but hey, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Lord's will is edifying, and Lord's will I can catch up on the next one. Shalom.